So death and dying. By now, you should know that if you're getting into EMS or any kind of EMT job, EMS job, cops, EMTs, paramedics, whatever you want to do, as long as it has to do with EMS and working out in the field or just pretty much any kind of medical job, you're going to come across death and dying. Same thing, right? For that age. So death and dying. Now you have to understand as an EMT the stages of grieving. One, because you're going to come across them and you have to know what to deal with, how to approach it, and kind of how to identify what's really going on um, with the situation. And two, you have to know it because it's on a test. So the stages of grieving um, are actually testable and I have seen them on a few tests. So that's why I'm going to make a video over them. And all this video is going to do is going to try to give you like a little key or a cheat sheet to kind of remember the different stages of grieving when it comes to death and dying, okay? Now, this is the way I remember it. This is how it was taught to me and it, and it stuck. Pretend that you're in a car and you're driving with your friend, right? And your cell phone is in the middle. So these are the seats and this right here is the, co the console. Your cell phone is sitting right here and the, the radio is right here playing, blasting music, whatever you guys hear. I don't know, I don't judge. Well anyways, your friend gets your cell phone and throws it out the window. So boop, your cell phone's right here car runs it over and that's the situation we're in at first you're gonna be in denial like bro you did not just throw my cell phone out the window next the second step you're gonna be very angry right you're gonna be pissed so you might cuss to your friend like you you this you that you that you're gonna be really 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 mad after that you might want to bargain with your friend like hey you're gonna buy me a cell phone right because I mean you throw my cell phone out the window um, so you need to buy me a cell phone. That's just the way it works. After you're done bargaining, you're going to be depressed. You're like, man, my cell phone got ran over by a car because my friend threw it out the window. Now I can't go on Snapchat or Facebook or Instagram, anything, and it really sucks. So now I'm really, really, really depressed. And finally, but not least, is you're just going to accept what happened. So I'm going to run through it one more time and hopefully it, uh, it might help some of you, it might not. But the reason I'm doing this, I know uh, my way of teaching isn't really for everybody. But for those that it is, I mean, I, I hope you, you gain some knowledge from it. Uh, at least some of these will stick to you. So the scenario is in your, you're in your car. Your friend throws your cell phone out the window. At first, you're not going to believe it. Believe it. So like, no. You did not just throw my window, my uh, my cell phone out the car. Denial, right? Then anger. You're going to be pissed off, mad. You're going to cuss at your friend. Then you're going to bargain with your friend. Like, hey, you're going to buy me a cell phone, right? Because, I mean, you threw my, my, my cell phone out the window. That wasn't cool. So you owe me a cell phone. Next, you're going to be depressed because you can't go on your Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, none of that stuff. And then... Finally, you're going to accept the fact that your cell phone is gone and it's not going to come back. So this is the way I remember it. Now, it's good to understand that the, staging, the stages of grieving, it doesn't always go into sequence. Sometimes one will be skipped, like anger might be skipped, denial, then bargaining, depression, acceptance. That's also a possibility. But these are just the, the normal stages that one would go through. Uh, just realize that not everybody does go through these stages. My name is John with EMT Made Easy, and I hope this video helped you out. Catch you later. Oh, hold up. Before I do that, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And if I mess up, I mess up. I will apologize, and I will correct it. Um, and then if you're wrong, I will correct you. Let's help each other out. See ya.